I've been promising this video for a while, even though I was considering going to see Die Hard at the movies tonight, I thought, no, I better stay in and do this Fast Stone video. Now, Fast Stone is a, uh, a file browser program. It's free for PC users, not available for Mac, sorry. And I really recommend uh, for Photoshop Elements users to try Fast Stone because it provides an alternative to Bridge. Now, Bridge comes with Photoshop, but as we know, it doesn't come with Elements. Um, and Elements instead has that horrid organizer program which tries to take over your life. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, Fast Stone is a free download. Now, it's not quite as slick as Bridge, but by golly, it's really good. It's function rich, and as I've been playing around with it, I've been really impressed. I have to start, say at the outset that since I do own Photoshop, I do have Bridge, um, so this video is not about how I do use Fast Stone, it's about how I would use it if it was my browser of choice. Alright, so I'm going to just have a look through some of its features. Uh, just got a folder of images here. I talked in a previous video about how I get images onto the computer and I touched on Fast Stone in that as well. Alright, so I've just right clicked, I'll choose Browse with Fast Stone. Um, okay, so I've got a little folder of shots here of Emily sitting in the swing. Now, um, when you first open it, I th think that layout will look something like this, although the preview window in the bottom left corner was much smaller. I've sort of enlarged it here a bit. Um, the, there's lots of stuff you can play around with, but the first thing I recommend doing is going to the tag menu and turn on allow file tagging. Um, that will allow me to uh, to check the images that uh, I, that are good ones, you know, that I'd like to go ahead and keep and edit. So what I would sort of do here is I've got this folder of half a dozen images, JPEGs, these ones, um, and I can sort of just click through them and have a look at Amelie's expression in the preview window. And she looks a bit goofy in these photos, but the the last three photos she looks a bit better. So um, to tag those three, um, I press the backslash key on the keyboard, uh, and that fills those three little red boxes on the thumbnails, um, or you could manually click those, of course. Um, and then I can go to the tag menu and choose show tag files only, or alt backslash. Okay, that just narrows it down to those three. Then I just press enter to have a look in full screen mode at those three. And while I'm here, uh, my mouse turns into a little magnifying glass. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I can just click and hold on Amelie's eye. I can move around a bit, check the focus. That one's a little bit fuzzy. Click and hold on this one. That's not bad. Click and hold on this one. That's pretty darn good as well. So uh, the first one was a bit fuzzy, but the second two are great. While I'm here, I can just move my mouse up to the top of the screen and the thumbnails pop out, whereupon I can just untag that uh, the first one there. And then I can just hit escape and that will get me back here. Turn off show tag files only. Now, in programs like Bridge, um, they have a bit more sophisticated system of, say, stars, one through five stars or whatever. Fast Zone only has tagged and untagged, um, which I find a teensy bit restricting, but you know, I can I can work with that easily. Uh, right, so then if I want to edit, say this one, I could right click, choose edit with external program, or the shortcut is simply the E key on my keyboard. I press E. The first time you do that, it probably won't automatically go to elements, it will prompt you to choose elements as the editor. Anyway, so that's just bam, opened up in elements. I can go ahead and do my editing. Um, I can also, if I go back to Fast Stone, if I want to edit a couple, uh, you know, I can just control click on a couple of them, press E, and sure enough, they both open up there just in tabs. You know how that goes. Okay, so that's, that's pretty sweet. That's some JPEG. Let's have a look at a folder of RAWs. Now, 
Um, gotta love fast stone. It can view raws. I haven't come across any raw files that can't view yet. Uh, I'm not sure how cutting edge current it is with new cameras, but it seems to do a, a pretty darn good job. Better than bridge, actually. Um, so, uh, I might just have a look at a folder of raws here. Now, same thing again. I can just sort of flick through these and have a look. Yeah, they're a bit goofy. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Tag that one with my backslash key. That's nice. Mm, yep, yeah, relatively nice. Um, these ones, no, no, that's a bit goofy, but those ones are nice. Uh, goofy and so on. Those are nice. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, and then now uh, just view just the tagged ones there, and then I can um, press enter, go into that full screen mode, have a bit of a closer look. Now that first one is actually a bit fuzzy, so I'll just untag that. Um, go to the second one. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's that's nice. That can say tagged. I'm just using my arrow key here. Go to the next one. Eh. Yeah bit fuzzy that third one, I'll just untag that. Um, now what have we got here? These ones are all, these two are quite similar. I'll click on that one, ooh fuzzy, I think I can just, no I can't bother. Um, untag that, go to the next one, click, yeah those are good eyelashes, that's nice. Go to the next one, okay so you get the idea, I'm just going through checking the focus on these really easy just by clicking and having a look excellent hit escape to get back to my normal view um, now I've got these the remaining tagged ones that nice expressions and good focus and then I can go ahead and, and edit um, now again if I simply press E that will open up one, but of course it will open up in ACR because it's a raw file. I can go ahead. Now, unfortunately, um, so far at least, maybe they'll fix this in time. Uh, if I choose, say, two raw files and press E, it doesn't open them at the same time in ACR. It opens up one, it waits for me to do stuff to it, and then it subsequently opens up the next one. But, uh, that annoyed me at first, but it's a really simple workaround. I found that all you have to do is select all of them, and instead of pressing E, just drag and drop. I just grab those, drag down here over elements in my taskbar, up and let go of my mouse, and then that's more like it, right? It opens up in ACR with all of the images. Um, that's what I was expecting, and so then, of course, uh, if these are all the same shot, same lighting, I could just press select all and I could go ahead and do my editing. Of course they're not, but I can select, uh, you know, shift select the ones that matter, uh, you know, make my little exposure adjustments just on those two, whatever other adjustments. Come down here, select these two similar ones, same thing, need some warmth. Okay, so um, hopefully you're already across batch processing in ACR in Elements, but feel free to post questions about that if you need to. Um, no, don't worry about that. Thank you, Photoshop. Uh, what? Oh, yes, sorry. Cancel all changes. Okay. Uh, we'll just have a look at one more example of that. So I've got all these. Now, this time, they are all pretty much the same lighting, so I can just control A to select all of them, drag over there, hover, drop, and they will all open up down the side there, one big batch. I just hit select all and then I can go right ahead, make adjustments because they're all in the same lighting. And I've edited a whole bunch of photos in almost no time at all. You know, and that's that's fantastic. Um, that helps our cause a lot. Um, so I'll just close that. Um, obviously while you're in fast stone um, you can just hit the delete key to hit to delete any that are obviously dodgy and out of focus. Um, it's got really good file structure browsing up here. Um, look, I'm sure there's a whole lot more to this program than I've discovered in uh, in my little bit of playing around, and I hope that you'll you'll give it a shot. Um, take the time to explore 
some of these functions. It's got some great uh, renaming functions and stuff like that. It's a really good little program and if you've got elements on a PC, I really encourage you to explore it.